Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. I'm on to do a bag for you today. And um, I have it right here. We will see what kind of goodies we find in this bag. Um, I think this is the last bag from this box. So after I do this, we're going to open up something a little bit different. And um, I don't know what it is. It's been here for a while. I, you know, I can't remember unless I turn around and I try to go back and look up. But anyway, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. And hit the notification bell if you would like to be informed when I upload a new video. All right, so let's get started with this and see what we have in here. Uh, all right, let's pour a little bit out. I don't think there's a real lot in here. All right, this is a bangle. Um, it's very colorful. It's a new condition. It's very pretty, wide. Um, let's see here. It is actually... See, two, it's one and a half inches wide. So, there you go. Very colorful and very pretty and great shape. All right, our next one is, um, I don't see any marks inside of this. This is a square clamper. A little sparkly looking. Very pretty, it's a green. Give you a quick close up. Okay, nice bangle. Put that there. Let's see what we got here. All right, this is a stretch. Um, this looks great condition. Nice tight stretch in this. This is done in a blue. It's um, a little large. I mean, I can wear the. I I could wear this, and uh, it's pretty. Okay. There you go. Not bad. You can see how clean the um, stretch cord is inside of it. All right. All right, here we have, uh, you know, I think this is a combination of um, sodalite and lapis because um, I can see, let me get these apart so we can see how many is in here because I can see pieces that have the pyrite in them and uh, but yet I see some that are regular so there's one two three four five six seven eight there's eight stretch bracelets Stretch is good. <clears throat> now, if you look close, you can see some look like sodalite. But if you get down close and look, you can actually see some of the pieces have a lot of pyrite in them. So, it's either it's all lapis with some pieces that are not so great. Or it's a combination of both. So right down here, there's a piece that has a lot of pyrite in it. And there's a lot in there like that. So this is a set of eight. Let me put these over to the side. And I'll join them back up again. I don't think there's a real lot in this bag. Okay, this is um, no name. And 
This is all acrylic. Um, big chunky beads. Um, very fashion forward. Let me see what the measurement on this would be. Uh, it's 18 inches. This is different. The um, green beads have kind of an opalescent look to them. Come on. There we go. It's in great condition. It's light, so you could wear this and not have a big problem with it. All right, let's put this over here. Um, all right, this is um, an old necklace. Um, it's got a spring ring clasp. It's just blue plastic beads. And the length on this, well, this is 24 inches. So got a 12 inch drop and there they are again put that there and this here I think I'm gonna just send this this is just plain old turquoise blue plastic beads I'm gonna send this over to the um, uh, over to the thrift I'm sure none of you are interested in this piece okay um, here we have a two-piece stretch acrylic. Pretty. It's new. You can see where the tag was that was on it. I wish they would leave a lot of those on when they send them uh, instead of them, you know, disappearing. So you got one that's got shell on it, and then you got the one that's just got the plain old pretty plastic blue acrylic beads there. Okay. Now, let's see here. This is another one that's old. Um, I'll wait till I hear from you on this one. If nobody's, this has got a spring ring clasp. It's very old. Um, if anybody's interested on it, I think this is more of a plastic than, I mean, I know acrylic and plastics, everybody thinks it's the same. But plastic to me is very, very lightweight where the acrylic to me is a little bit better it's a little bit harder and um, I mean this is a pretty green necklace it's, it's a great necklace to wear you know um, for St. Patty's Day and everything but it's it's very very lightweight so if nobody's interested this will be another one that'll go over to the thrift all right we'll put that there now this one here is um, I think this is ultra suede and this is very pretty um, it's done with gold tone and it's got a lobster claw and uh, it has a nice um, a nice uh, uh, lobster claw with an extender with a bead I wish I could get these things to lay right <coughs> I'm gonna get this down where it belongs. This is this is a really nice necklace, and uh, it's a long necklace too. So I have to turn around and work it a little bit. Um, since this is velvet and this is kind of like a velvet being the ultra suede, it's hard to get it to lay properly. But it's got a lot of different lengths: one, two, three, four, five. This is, this is a pretty necklace. Let me see what the length on this is. Um, I know the lowest one is 24 inches plus the extender. So it's probably going to go from 18 down to 24. Let me give you a closer look at the nice metal beads that are on here. They look like uh, sugar snaps. All right, that's a pretty piece. Okay, next piece. Let's see if there's anything on this. There is, and um, let me see if I can see what it says. 
it just says copyright and it looks like KC so this is um, I don't want to say it's leather but it's on a there's two cords here one is a green the other is a blue and then you got this really pretty um, enamel pendant that is a combination of both of those colors and it's got a long um, lobster claw clasp with a long extender with a bead on the end so this is such a pretty pendant that if you don't like the cord you very easily can take this off the hole is large and put that pendant on something else okay we're almost to the, ba the end of this bag so all right this here there's glass and there's plastic but I would say that it's mostly plastic this is done in greens <clears throat> and it has a butterfly on it this is a stretch bracelet not too bad put that over there and let me see we got just a couple more things in here Oh, there's a pair of earrings that will match that big honking necklace with shepherd hooks. It's funny, when you look at these, they can look green. When you look at them, they can look gray. It's very, very, they're very strange beads, and they, they match the beads that are on that big necklace really nice. Here we have just a plain, really in great shape. Good condition. Turquoise bangle. I don't think this has ever been worn. All right. Now the last piece in this lot. This is very different. This is a stretch. And um, I'm going to show it to you. If anybody's interested in in it the way it is it needs to be restrung this is absolutely a beautiful beautiful bracelet those all look like they're artificial um, snake skin with all the different colors on them so if nobody's interested in it the way it is I will restrung it string it and then put it back out again in like new condition okay all right so that's the last piece of this hang on let me see what I got down here that I can bring up and um, possibly show you so just give me a minute okay I pulled a few things out of the treasure box that I have below me down here so we'll add them to this lot since this lot is so small this is a uh, acrylic um, there is wear on the um, on the uh, lobster claw and extender, and this is a pretty necklace. Um, you can see the wear here. These will be priced accordingly. And if you need a nice older acrylic blue necklace for a reasonable price I have this one okay I think this is video 104 now this is um, pretty substantial heavy um, let me see what the name on this is. This is Monet. Okay. It's not new. And I think it's a choker. Yes, this is um, 15 inches. This is very old. It's gold tone. It has a pretty long extender. There is some wear on it. But this is a... Um, this is definitely a vintage piece of Monet. 
It's very nice. I'll put it on Buster. It's heavy. Okay. And here's the back. There's your Monet tag. It has a hook closure. And then there's your um, extender with a teardrop bead. So again, this piece of Monet with a little bit of wear, but not bad considering the age of the piece. I like Monet. Monet is, is, they always put quality in their pieces, no matter how simple or extravagant they are. They tend to be, um, a, you know, where they make just a lot of classic looking um, jewelry, you know, that you can wear with a lot of stuff. Now this is the same thing. There is some wear on the extender, the lobster claw, and the chain, but this is a, a also an older necklace. I'm going to see if I can get this on here so you can see it, and then I will take it off. Okay. Sorry about my TV in the background. The show just changed. Okay. So this is pretty. All this is glass. Now, there is some silver tone stuff in this necklace. So, um, here is it's what's, what I'm saying is very weird. This is all gold tone. But this is silver tone with a silver tone lobster claw. But yet it has the same color bead on the end of the extender that matches the gold. This is long. It's beautiful. Let me give you a measurement on this. So maybe this isn't worn. Maybe this is just the way that it is. Not positive. Okay, without the extender, down to this 22 inches, not counting the pendant drop. And like I said, it's all glass. It's very, very, very pretty. Great finish on a lot of the beads on this. Okay. And I just got a few more. I wanted to put a few things in to fill the video up a little bit. Now we have, um, this is, uh, pretty. This is a simple costume necklace. Great tassel. This is brand new condition. And, uh, I'm just putting it on here so you can see it. It's got a filigree ball. All right. And then here's your two. There's two lobster claw clasps. So what you can do with these is you can actually take and put one like over here and one over here, which will make it so that you can adjust the necklace to make it shorter. So in other words, if you move this out and put it in one of the links over here, it would bring the, the it up shorter and you can also do the same thing with that um, let me give you a measurement real quick on it not counting the pendant drop and there is an extender this is a little bit over I'd say this is 13 inches okay not counting the other yeah 13 inches so 26 inches not counting the pendant I'll give you a look at this excellent brand new condition Lots of sparkle. Okay, we have that. I just have a couple more. All right, this one here has got shell discs. This has got some weight to it. Um, you know what? I am not even... I'm gonna, I'll show it to you, but it's going to go to the thrift. Okay, I don't like I don't like the um, the condition of the cord that's on it, but it's a shame because it's it's really pretty. All right, so let me put that back in the bag, and then I can get that whatever I do it is. Give that to the thrift. Okay. Put that there. Now we have a silver tone necklace. Let's see what this is. 
and maybe who it is. Okay. This is a multi-strand necklace and it's Liz Claiborne. It's very pretty. Great shape. I'm going to put uh, this over here so it's in the shorter section. And without the extender, we're talking 16 inches. So this will hang at your neck. This is pretty. This will hang at your neck unless you use the extender. And it's one, two, three, four, I think six strands. Very, very, very pretty silver tone necklace. Here's your Liz Claiborne. And a little tag it says Liz Claiborne established. So this is very nice. Give you a close up. Great condition. If you like silver tone. There you go. Nice bell caps on it, holding it all together. This is not cheap wire on this. It's got a little weight to it. All right, put that away. Only a couple more. Like I said, I pulled these out of my little treasure box that I have down underneath. So some of them have been in that box probably five or six years. So when I open them up, I'm not totally positive. Um what the condition is on it. Well, this is interesting. This has got a little DNA on it. I'm surprised. It could have fell from me. <clears throat> That'll have to get off. But this is very pretty. These are all glass. There's some actually um, some really nice uh, beads on this. Got a super long extender on this. Um, it's kind of an, it's not a shiny, um, bright silver tone. It's, um, got, uh, oh, there's even some silver pieces down in here. It's more like an antique silver. So it's got a lot of pretty beads on here. It's, um, there's some orange little beads. There's some red. There's like some raspberry color beads. And then pinkish raspberry color, even some that look like purple. So, very pleasing to the eyepiece. Give you a length. Uh, uh, okay, from where it's 16 inches, plus it has, oh my gosh, the extender on this is, you can do, what, do whatever you want with this. You can make this all the way probably hang down really a lot but this is very very nice if you want something that's older and all glass there you go all right let's put that in the bag oh you know I have this too I don't know if any of you make jewelry um, I think this came from Michaels at one time um, this here is um, from Bead Landing. It's got a Western theme to it. It has an um, acrylic piece that says Admit One. Cowboy boot with um, uh, rhinestones. Horseshoe with a um, four leaf clover. A horse. And then this little antique thing. So um, anyway, I got that in one of my bags. So that's available if anybody would like a bunch of charms. Alright, next. This is just a simple, simple, simple little necklace. Um, that it has that, uh, um, you know, the, the, the snap and pull out, I'll show you, for the closure. This is done in purples. Um, these are nice beads here. And there's the, the clasp. You know what I'm talking about? Those ones. I'll give you a close up. Very simple. Gonna be a choker. There's the clasp, what I'm talking about. These are nice beads. Even if, uh, for the price I'm gonna charge you for this, even if you wanted it to take it apart for the beads, 
these beads that are on here would be well worth it. Okay. I don't know what I do with this. And I think there's just a couple more. All right, uh, let me get these out here. I don't know if I showed you these. These are a nice pair of gunmetal and um, silver tone thread earrings. These are really pretty. They're nice and light. Okay. Now, next, let's see what this is. All right, this necklace, I don't see any markings on it, but this is old, and it has a fold-over clasp. It's done in green. These are kind of what they, what they would be, I don't even know if they're acrylic. They must be, they got a funny feel into them. Um, they're a nice shape. But um, here's your fold over clasp in gold tone, if you can see that. All right, and it's got a pretty good length. Uh, oh, this is 24 inches. Give you a close up of the beads. They're not light, but they're not heavy either. They remind me kind of like nuggets or barrel beads. So condition is great on that for an older necklace. Now let me see here what else we have. I think there's two more pieces. All right, I got that back in the bag. Let's see what this is. Wow, this is cute. Let me see if I can figure out where the piece is, where it goes. Here we go. All right. This is definitely different. Um, this is Betsy Johnson, believe it or not. Um, let me see if there's a... Yeah, there is a... Um, I think an extender? No, maybe not. All right, it's got gunmetal lobster claw, and then it has um, gold, and on here, these are acrylic, and there's all these little bows, all right, all throughout the whole necklace. This is very cute. There's a piece of DNA there. Oh. Trying to get these all on the right side of each other. All right, let me show you this close up, how cute it is. There you go. A little Betsy Johnson necklace. The cute little bows all throughout. All right, our last piece, and I don't know what it is, it's something in gold tone. Let me see. All right, this is a big, chunky bracelet. I don't see any name on it. Very large and in charge. Um, it has an extender, lobster claw clasp, extender with a little bead on the end of it. It's pretty heavy. So, let me put it in my hand. There you go. There might be a little wear, but nothing that you or anybody else is really going to notice. It's very nice, heavy. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I know I did. 
And it's always nice to go in that box and grab a few different things out. And uh, we didn't have a lot in this in this last bag, so that's what I did. So um, soon I will be turning around and doing a couple of videos that you guys requested as far as um, um, repair and uh, cleaning and things like that. And uh, I'll work on those over the next couple of weeks and get those together. And also I'm going to put it together a, a, um, a short video with some of the mystery bags. And um, that's about it. So I hope you're all staying safe and taking care of yourself and your families. And um, I will be in touch soon. Again, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And you all have a wonderful and blessed day today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.